Hi guys, it's Eminem Tube. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing something so different. I am going to be comparing my old drawings and my new drawings. Meaning that I'm going to be looking at my old art which I drew as a little kiddo, 6 years old, you know. And now, let's start. So, as you can see, this is my album. So I was a fan of Pokemon that day. I know, it's weird. I was such a Pokemon fan. So that's why I even decorated my book as you can see. So let's start off with the first page. I remember having a Pikachu over here. So on the first page, we can already see a Pokemon drawing. It looks like a Pikachu flossing. And it's fully hurt. And it's like, Pika Pika Pika, meaning I don't like to be in a Pokeball, guys. So, I drew this two years ago, actually, guys. That's a long time ago, 2016. Next picture we have here is, I guess, my first ever shading type of drawing. And it's Joltik. He looks so cute and cool. It's like his bowl of food here his french fries so his name is joltik he's also an evolution of eevee if you don't know that and i mean that's pretty good art to be honest then we have squirtle he looks cool saying hi to you guys then we have our schwartz doesn't he look cute this pokemon i don't know his name and on to the color drawings so I really liked to color drawings. So here's the first ever color drawing I made of a Pokemon. It is Glaceon as you can see guys. It looks quite cool and a bit crooked. You can see here the lines are not good. But who cares I mean. Now we also have this Pokemon. It's called Rattata and I'm sure you heard of it. It is like literally I didn't I don't remember tracing this drawing or anything but it turned out very well. So he's also a Pokemon, it's like a rat. So I just colored it and drew the face only as because I remember watching these tutorials on YouTube with my brother and drawing all these Pokemon. So yeah. Next we have this cute one. Her name is Kitty. She's like a kitten Pokemon. Then we have Charmander over here, my little baby favorite Pokemon. And the most best Pokemon drawing ever is Dragonair, of course. So guys, Dragonair was uh, my favorite Pokemon I drew so far. It's the whole body. It looks perfect, guys. Leave this sign in the comments down below if you think this is amazing. I'm not bragging or anything. Then we have Wigglytuff. And yeah. Also guys, now on to the Captain Underpants drawings. Yay. So I'm sure you all guys also read Captain Underpants back in the days when you were small. And maybe you still do. I have no problem. But I would usually read them and collect those books. So I would usually copy some of the drawings and make my own. So as you can see, this is a quick comic of a bully and like a small shy kid talking whatever they are, I don't want to read it. And my handwriting was bad. Then we have this drawing over here. Oh my gosh. And this bully over here. And yeah, now on to the oil pastel drawings. At first, we have Kevin, he's a minion and he's saying hi to you guys. Then we have Anger from the Inside Out movie. So this is little Anger, he's very cool. I love the shading on top which I did. I mean, there are a couple of few things I could do better in this drawing, but so far so good. Next, what do we have? Next, we have um, 
Next, we actually have a cool drawing. It's an amazing all pastel drawing. I took help from my mother when I was like also small because I was like, I cannot do this drawing by myself. So I asked my mother for help. And look at this, Sonic. It's amazing. It's so perfect, guys. I can't believe I did so well. Now I feel that my drawings in the past I better than my now drawings so I guess this is it for my old drawings now we will move on to new art so now guys I'm going to be showing you some of my new art this is not all of the art I had but it's some of my art which I just like did so as you can see here we can see Audish and his trainer. It is a drawing of Copic Markers. It's not that good. Maybe I just started drawing with Copic Markers, so it's not that great. Next, we have Boo over here from Mario. I'm pretty happy with this drawing. I remember taking a tutorial from YouTube also. It's a Copic Marker drawing. And a warning is that um, all of the drawings you'll see now are mostly Copic marker drawings because I usually draw a lot with them. Here we can see a couple of sketches of the eyes I tried to do. This one and that one. So those came out good actually. We have this lady over here. It's written dream. Stay dreamy guys. Then what else do we have? Yeah, this is my amazingest drawing. Their name is Halo Girl, so Daddy's anime cutie pies over here. She's a Halo Girl and she has a little cat with her. I drew this with Copic markers. I really enjoy drawing this drawing, so I might draw it digitally. Also. Then we have one more of the Halo Girls. She looks cool. She's like the ocean fairy type of, because she's sitting on a wave. So. All my drawings have a little bit of a backstory behind them. Then we have also this little anime girl. She's saying belief, dream, all of these amazing words. And she looks amazing. Only there's one problem. She has a long neck. She's a giraffe. Yeah, mom. She has a long neck. Lol. Anyways, this is also another drawing. Uh, it is. Uh, it was officially for a puggy pug face. She saw this drawing and it's amazing. Also, she told that, and it was just with color pencils and color markers and all that. So it's not that great, but yeah. Next, we have the Casey Golden style of drawings. Special thanks for Casey to post our uh, drawings on her channel so that I could also get some influence about them. So this is a Casey Golden drawing which I tried to copy and there's also an original Casey Golden drawing I actually made with her style. See? It's MJ <coughs> made with Copic markers also. So special thanks to Casey Golden. Well not only uh, these are my drawings, I have one more Casey Golden drawing. I actually copied this one <laughs> and it turned out pretty good then we have the my style drawings yeah here are the drawing it was just quite a random drawing I just did for just no use and now the last drawing I promise I hope so onesie buddies guys I'm actually doing digital art on these called onesie buddy series i will be asking you guys in the comments down below what types of onesie buddy should i draw what color should they be animal related personas or furries so this is one of my first ever onesie buddy it's a panda onesie buddy and it looks so cute this onesie buddy is actually me so don't copy so I just love pandas, so I decided to incorporate them in this drawing. So that's it for today's video, guys. Write in the comments down below, which art do you think is better? 
new art or old art. Last thing I need to say is bye and peace. Bye bye. See you in the next video.